Hi everybody, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of August 7th to August the 14th, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome you to go up there and push that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule an appointment for either a private reading with me or a Reiki session with me. Today I'm going to do the four elements, the four uh, signs, fire, earth, water, and air. And we, we are going to concentrate right now on the earth signs, and that includes Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn signs. Here we go. Monday, you have been given Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn an earth card, and this is the ace of earth. And earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives and how we bring that currency and abundance in. And it can have to do with our jobs, careers, and professions, and that's how we make our money and bring it in, that part of the material part of our life. But it is an earth card. <clears throat> and it can have to do with mother earth and the ecosystem and nature issues. It also has to do with our closest circle, <coughs> excuse me, which is our families or people we feel close enough to Excuse me, that we do feel are welcomed into our family circle. But this is about abundance, and I do see the inflow of money coming into some of you. I do see that this is going to be a new business venture that some of you are going into, this type of an endeavor. I see some of you maybe getting a promotion at work. I see some of you maybe taking a different form of study to enhance you with your job at work. But this is a good business venture coming into some of you. <clears throat> I do see during this course of action with this business venture, you are going to be signing documents and important contracts. And this is how you're going to be bringing in more money. Okay, this is how the abundance is going to come into your life now. So it has to do with business. It has to do with your job. It has to do with signing all those and agreeing to all those, uh, those things in those contracts. <clears throat> Water card for Tuesday, five of water. And <clears throat> water cards are our relationship cards. And they often are intimate, but sometimes they're not. But this is telling me that some of you are in a relationship and things are not turning out the way that you wish they had. And you question why you're even there. And you've lasted longer than actually you should have. You feel as though you've overstayed your welcome. You just feel like you're not getting what you want out of this relationship. And it's not what you had hoped it was going to turn out to be. So you're not seeing a positive in this situation at all. And, you know, they talk about this as crying over spilt milk. And what they're implying is it's very easy to wipe up spilt milk. Done. So you need to consider where you're going in this relationship. And if you feel it's not where you want to be, and you feel as though there's nothing in positive in that situation, you feel as though, you know, you've been hanging in there and banging your head against a wall for nothing, and it's one-sided then you know what you have to do. You need to open that door, take a deep breath of fresh air, and you will. some of you I see will actually be moving on. Others I see you're going to deal with it. I see that you're going to work it out. You're going to stay, and you're going to say that this relationship is worth the fight. So <clears throat> you're wiping up the spilt milk by dealing with the issue as well in that relationship. On Wednesday, crowning your week, you've been given the nine of earth. And this is telling me uh, that now some of you are reaping in the benefits of your hard labor and working hard. You've worked hard at everything in your life. And now you're gonna be able to enjoy the little things in life, the little luxuries in life. You've worked hard at your job. And <clears throat> now, and just like on Monday, it showed that inflow of extra income coming in. So now maybe you could have time and you'll be able to be able to tap into some of that extra resource to be able to do some little luxurious things that you couldn't do maybe in the past. You're going to be spending time alone and thinking long and hard now about your future and where it is you truly want to go because you're going to have this extra money coming in to help some of you. It's going to be great. So it does show me that some of you are also have been working very diligently and hard with your own personal business with being self-employed and it's going to start showing the abundance coming in and the benefits of all your hard work that you've been putting in. 
Knight of Water, another relationship card for Thursday. And this is telling me uh, that some of you have met someone and uh, someone new, a potential life mate, a potential partner that's going to be long lasting because you're falling madly in love with them to the point where I do see some of you already in this relationship and you're going to be getting a wedding proposal to get married. So congratulations to those that this is happening to. But keep in mind that you need to keep your emotions balanced and intact, okay? So you can deal with all these responsibilities coming in, planning your wedding and your future with this life mate. Now, for those of you that are not being asked to get married and walk down the matrimony aisle, you are going to receive an invitation coming in soon to go to a wedding. That event. Friday, you've been given the night of fire, a fire sign. And fire signs have to do with setting our creative juices in motion and uh, self -de personal self-development. And often that involves taking risks we normally wouldn't take or going places we normally wouldn't go, AE, on an adventure type of thing. And this is telling me that there's an exciting event coming into some of you. And you need to know that it's coming in very quickly and it's going to need your immediate attention. So you're going to have to make this decision quick. Uh, but you need... To to go over all your options, okay? Time is of the essence, but you need to think things through thoroughly when this event comes in, but it's a great event. They show me it as an, an exciting event, but you have to act upon it, okay? The Dreamer, major card for Saturday. And this is all about you knowing that you're able now to take a leap of faith, okay? And you're able now to follow your own dreams. So don't be afraid to do that because it shows me there's going to be some unexpected opportunities in the form of either money, time, or effort that's going to be able and enable you to be able to actually manifest those dreams that you've been wanting to do. You're going to be able now to exert your own independence and you need to approach any, 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 um, any challenges coming into you right now optimistically because I'm telling you you can make your dream come true because you're going to be getting some unexpected uh, resources coming in to help you there. Air card for the last day of the week, Sunday. This is the king of air. Then this is the only one that you have in your deck that has to do with legal issues and or injustice that people bring into our lives where you're faced with making fair and just decisions and choices that are determined around these people and those circumstances. And they're often challenging and things that we don't like to do. But it also has to do with people that are dealing with lawyers and attorneys and court cases and issues like that. Signing of contracts, disbursements of property, it could be real estate, it could be matrimonial, it could be something as simple as uh, being subpoenaed as a witness to, to uh, an incident that you were, uh, you know, at at the time. But this is telling me that you're going to be asked to step up. You're going to be asked to step up, and perhaps it has to do with being subpoenaed. But you're going to have to step up on your platform, and you're going to be able to do it with confidence. You're a little bit nervous right now, it shows me, but you're going to be getting scripted and groomed by someone professional. And perhaps it is a lawyer or someone else who can walk you through this uh, and how you can get up there with confidence and speak your peace and your truth. Please know that you need to calm yourself down and balance yourself emotionally and mentally to do this, okay? Consider that to keep yourself, perhaps maybe it shows me some of you need to meditate as well, to keep yourself calm and, and have the confidence and the courage to step up there and do that. But you're going to be able to do it, okay? Trust me, you're going to be able to do it because you've got help. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card, and I decided today to use the Mystical Wisdom deck. I have some new decks, and they're beautiful cards, and this one is Go With The Flow. Okay, go with the flow. So step back, relax, and just let it happen. Okay, let the sources that be, divine sources that be, guide you on your path. Okay, it talks about stepping up here on your platform. Don't stress it. It's going to work out fine. So just let things unfold, okay, and let things happen. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And again, I leave you with another quote. Nobody gets through life without losing someone they love, someone they need, or something they thought was meant to be. But it is in these losses that make us stronger and eventually move us towards future opportunities and doors opening, my friend. 
See you again next week, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, my friends.